Okay, so so hi, so it's Ken again. So we're going to do another film. We're going to do a, a meditation this time. The 12th of February uh, marks the start of the the new uh, lunar new year. It's often called the Chinese New Year, but it's celebrated in lots of uh, Asian countries in Japan, China, Vietnam, uh, Korea. Uh, follows the the cycle of the moon, the the lunar the lunar uh, cycle. It's supposed to in the West we follow the Gregorian calendar, which is a solar calendar. They follow the lunar calendar in uh, in the forest and there. Okay, so uh, we're coming into the year of the ox, the, the metal ox. Coming after the year of the rat, my year into the year of the ox. Uh, okay, so before I start to really waffle and get geeky about this, because I, I love this stuff, let's get into it. So you're sitting on the edge of the chair if you can. You can do this lying down, you can do this sitting back in the chair. I prefer to not get too comfortable when I do meditation. If you get too comfortable when you do meditation, you can turn more from a meditation into, into sleeping. So I sit on the edge of the chair, ankles underneath my knees, my feet are about the same distance as my hips or my shoulders apart. I imagine I have a long ponytail on the top of the head that's tied up to the ceiling, so I'm sitting upright, I'm not slumping, I'm not curving in the lower back, I'm not sticking the chest out, I'm not flaring ribs out. Sitting down, relaxing into the chair, but lengthening the spine. Okay, let's go for the breathing. So I want you to place one hand onto the chest, the other hand onto your belly. Either hand. Breathing in. You want the hand on your belly to rise with the breath. Breathing out the hand on the belly forwards with the breath. You might be saying you can't breathe into your belly. You've not done any sessions with movement before. You can't breathe into your belly. You can't breathe into your belly, but you can imagine you're breathing into the belly. Imagine you're breathing into a ball about three fingers below the belly button and in the center of the body. And this breathing into the belly activates the diaphragm, the dome-shaped sheet of muscles that connects to the underside of the lungs and all around the ribcage. When you breathe into the belly, or imagine you're breathing into the belly, it inverts this dome and it draws air into the lower half of the lungs, like drawing air into a set of bellows. So breathing into that ball in the belly. Imagine it starts off about the size of a golf ball. And as you breathe into it, it grows to about the size of your fist. And it's this ball expanding that pushes the hand on the belly out. So you should feel it pushing towards your back as well. So take the hand off your chest and place it onto the lower back, just the back of the head. Sitting up, breathing in. As you breathe in, you want the hand on the belly and now the hand on your back to rise with the breath. Breathing out the hand on the belly, the hand on the back falls with the outbreath. Breathing in the hand on the back doesn't rise as much as the hand on the belly. If you want to feel the hand on your back rising and falling with the rhythm of the breath. And just as we're sat here, not really moving, I want you to try to make the out breath a little bit longer than the in breath. And you really shouldn't be able to hear the breath. The breath, the breath should be nice and light. The watch words for the breath, the breath wants to be long, smooth, fine, and quiet. Okay. So the hands onto the thighs. You can have the, thigh, the, the palms facing down, the palms facing up. You can have your hands into a mudra. Anywhere where you don't have to think about holding your arms up. Okay, so we're going to go into the meditation. But just get any movement out of the way now. So you can roll your shoulders and your neck. Fiddle with your clothes if you need to. Scratch that edge if you need to. You're going to try and be still, not be distracted by the body. And try not to let the mind get distracted or wander away, wander away from the meditation as well. So try to be still. Sitting comfortably, breathing in and out through the nose. I just want you to close your beautiful eyes. Closing your beautiful eyes. You can say goodbye to the hostilities and grudges of the past that fester inside you and keep you from surrendering to all that is life affirming and new. You can embrace lightness and freedom. You can begin again and what better time to start than now. So take a few deep breaths and allow your body to take in all the air that it needs. Imagine your entire body softening. If you believe in a power greater than yourself, begin by giving thanks to this power for all the gifts in your life right now. Appreciate where we have been is a magical key to moving forward. Every situation and relationship from your past has taught you something useful and has made you who you are today. Notice those things that have outlived their usefulness. What keeps you stuck? What stops you from living your deepest dream? Recognize the obstacles to achieving the changes that you choose for your life. Begin to make mental notes of all those things that you are ready to release. Where are you still holding resentment for, towards another? Towards yourself? 
Let all your fears, worries, doubts, disappointments and anger surface in your mind. Envision them as a muddy stream which flows out of you as you breathe. See yourself releasing old hurts, sadness, imbalance and injustice in your life from the past and present. Feel them dissolving, pouring out of your body. Just let them go. Release all the should-haves, could-haves, if-onlys. There are many layers to let go of, so for now, let go of all those things that you are able to. Just let them go. Now see what items, relationships or situations you have outgrown or that need to shift in some way. Take the time to express gratitude for the lessons learned and then visualize them gently leaving or changing to promote your new reality. As you free yourself from the past, you open up space for fresh, honest relationships and exciting newer opportunities to come into your life. As the old energy flows out, experience a new lightness, feel a new power and vitality entering into your mind and body, opening up space for compassion, for forgiveness, for health, for prosperity and success. Invite those people who are able to respect and honour your growth and change. Dwell in this space for a short time, opening your heart and expressing gratitude for the opportunity to grow and move forward. Honour and acknowledge yourself for the courage to clear house and let go. Now imagine that you can breathe in the qualities that you need for this new part of your life. Breathe in courage to be true to yourself. Just breathe it in. Breathe in patience, discipline, spontaneity, anything that you feel will assist you in this new beginning. See yourself as strong and positive. In your mind's eye, picture what you would like to receive in your life and imagine yourself easily receiving these gifts. Feel yourself radiating with positive energy as you attract new people, ideas and situations. See yourself joyful and content with this new reality. Slowly begin to deepen your breaths. Gently move your fingers and toes. Gently begin to turn your head from side to side. Keeping your eyes closed, take three final deep breaths. And when you are ready, Open your eyes, reconnecting, give blessings, many blessings for a happy new year.